again with the one more question on domain and range of the function here the function is mod 2x minus 3 minus 3 so here first we will find the domain so when we are talking about domain what we have to do is we have to check if the if there is any value for x for which this cannot be calculated so here what we see is if i put x is equal to 1 or minus 1 or 2.5 or minus 3.5 or any value of x it it will not be having any problem in calculating this expression so what does it shows it shows that there does not exist any value for x for which the function given by this is not defined that means it can always be calculated so all real number is the domain that means we can put any value for x we are free to choose any value for x because it will not have any problem in calculating this expression so the domain for this function is set of all real numbers now let's talk about range when we are talking about range uh, whatsoever value we put here my function will give value either equal to minus 3 or greater than minus 3 that means my function is always greater than or equal to minus 3 how if I put x is equal to suppose 3 by 2 2 and 2 gets cancelled 3 minus 3 is 0 and the result is minus 3 so I'll get minus 3 now if you put any other value in the place of x it will always give some value which is greater than minus 3 why because it is a mod function it will always be a positive number so when a positive number uh, and minus with 3 uh, get subtracted with 3 uh, it will always give something which is greater than minus 3 when we subtract um, 3 from something positive we will always get a number which is greater than minus 3 so the range for the function fx is nothing but closed interval minus 3 to in infinity because it is always <coughs> greater than or equal to minus 3 and we may get any value for the function fx so the value of fx is my range and value of possible values of x is domain so this is how we calculate domain and range for any given function thank you